How y'all doing, spicy samosas? We are the Rival Sisters. Welcome to our channel and if you have not subscribed, please do like and share this video and hit the bell icon. This is week 2 of our 30 day keto challenge. So, let's dive into today's conversation, shall we? So basically, week 2 was alright, not, no, not much difference but I realized that I started sweating more like I think it's because I'm already in ketosis so like I'm constantly sweating even if I'm not doing anything so that's a really good sign and um, other than that I feel normal, I eat way lesser because I don't feel so hungry um, and we also started our workout already so that makes us a little, or at least makes me a little bit tired by night time. So yeah, that's how I felt this entire week. What about you? Okay, um, week two has been a lot easier compared to the first week, obviously, and um, I've been having only one meal a day, which is not so difficult to be honest. Like, um, I don't feel hungry as much and. Yeah, with the workout and all, I guess, you know, um, it kind of like... Um, I don't know if it shows as much on the scale, but I guess I can see difference like in my body, you know? Yeah. Um, tuna into the bowl um, uh, together with the olive oil because well in keto we know olive oil is um, good for us and I've just added since this thing has some sugar in it so I've just added like a really small um, teaspoon of um, mayonnaise for some flavor and um, I've also cut up my avocados and put it on my almond uh, bread slices I've got two slices of bread and I cut the avocado into half and there's half here and half here and um, I'm going to eat it with um, the tuna so what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to put it like on the bread oops And I'm going to do the same on the other side later, let's just save some time. And um, just for some flavoring, I'm going to add some, uh, some Himalayan pink salt, like over it. Like tuna have, already has some uh, salty flavor, so I'm not going to add too much of salt. And my favorite black pepper. I'm just gonna oh no there's an annoying fly but yeah um just gonna add black pepper because I love black pepper and yeah that's it for my lunch today so what we did differently in week two as opposed to week one is that we incorporated workouts and um to be exact, we actually started following the Chloe Things 2 week shred challenge. Okay, so we are down with the first week. And um, basically, the videos, uh, I mean, the workouts that we had to do were without weights or anything. All we needed was just a mat. Uh, honestly, it was very, very difficult initially. Even 
on the seventh day was difficult because she adds on more workouts. So the first two days was just like two videos. It was just like a heat workout to get your heart rate up and start sweating. And the second video is for our abs. So even that we were already dying in day two, right? Like we were like, oh my god, what have we signed up for? But yeah. we managed to do day one till day seven. There was uh, day rest was, I mean our rest day was day five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we had a rest day on day five. Um, yeah, it was. Um, we felt. I mean, I felt sore. My my abs were sore after I did the ab workout, and when I did the lower body workout, my thighs were sore and all that because we had to do a lot of squats, but. Um, although we didn't do it like thoroughly, like completely, you know, we had to stop in between and all. I still feel there is difference. I can see difference in my body and I'll be showing you pictures at the end of the video, alright? So basically, that's how I felt on the Chloe Ting Challenge. I mean, it was sort of impossible to do, but we, since I have my partner, it was so much easier because I had support and like... We were just pushing each other to do better and yeah, we complete, I complete, we completed week one. So let her tell her experience. Okay, so basically, um, it was not me who wanted to do the challenge. It was her, if it's not obvious enough. So I was like, fine, um, you know, I'll just do it with you. And I was already dead on day one, but yeah, you know, I just went on like was like it kind of like became a routine like even on weekends instead of working out in the evening because weekdays uh, we tend to work out in the evening because you know i work and um on the weekends i tend to like um do it in the morning like i kind of like ask her you know what why don't we just do that first and then go on with the rest of the day because i just want to be done with it yeah, kind of thing get it over and done with yeah so like um it was super intense but yes it got easier and um some of it i really enjoyed because i could really do some some of it and the rest i'm just like oh god not this all over again you know but yes we somehow managed to get through week one and yeah i do notice a lot of changes like in my body especially because i can fit into clothes that um i really love and like previously it was like too tight or like no you are not wearing that and going out kind of thing yeah but i feel like i fit into those clothes better so i guess you know it's working yeah and just i forgot to say one more thing initially i couldn't do that do you remember that up and down plank she could do it there was yeah. that one way you have to like go on your hand and then switch to your elbow. So um, I couldn't do it, but I think later on I could like do it a bit. I mean, I wasn't like so good, but I could at least like do one or two of it. So yeah, yeah like I think our we our body gets really we we could see feel that our body was stronger. Like yeah, yeah, and also like I guess the stuff that I can do, so maybe she can't do the stuff she can do. I can't do because like. There's like this triceps toe touch or something. She could do it from the beginning. But for me, it was like, yo, man, what the hell's happening? You know, but yeah, I guess like I uh, finally did it. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. That was really cool because like we could see each other's progress. What we couldn't do, we could finally do. So that was yeah. really cool. Like, and it kept us going. So let's see what week two has for us. We can't wait to see the results after week two. But yeah, that's about it about the Chloe Ting challenge. You guys can go check it out on her website or you can follow her on Instagram. Uh, she has her own YouTube channel with tons of videos. So you can find something that suits you. And yeah, Chloe Ting is awesome, guys. She hates her. Because I mean, I don't, I don't hate Chloe Ting, but sometimes I'm like, why is she trying to kill us all, you know? <laughs> but like, you, sometimes you think like, um, you cannot do it. I mean, like me especially, like, how, how can I do this, man? I mean, look at Chloe Ting, she looks so effortless and, like, I'm this fat, how the hell am I going to do this? But then I saw so many videos of people, like, 
who are way bigger and like fatter doing it and I'm like yo man you can do this you know like get your shit together yeah yep then we completed week 1 so good for us All right guys so for the moment you've all been waiting for the big reveal of how much weight we've lost you go first this time fine since i've already embarrassed myself what more there is so at the starting of week 2 i weighed um 84.7 kg and now i'm like 82.9 so i guess i lost like 1.8 kg so so far 2 weeks on keto and intermittent fasting i've lost 5.1 kg yeah oh, that's low that's really good oh my god uh i started off week 2 being 92.9 kg and at the end of week 2 i was 90.8 kg so i lost uh 2.1 kg in week 2 and my total weight loss in this 2 weeks is 5.9 kg guys woo so just wanted to say something real quick um we were quite upset actually when we saw the like we lost more weight in week 1 compared to week 2 yeah i was like man you know i feel like is something wrong with the weighing scale maybe we need to do something about it yeah yeah so actually we realized that um probably the first week what we lost was mostly water weight and in week 2 we are actually really losing our fats and maybe also because okay i'm sorry guys that's due breathing this being a bit annoying right now um so is such an attention seeker yeah so anyways oh god um due due down down baby down 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 down, down. so basically uh, what was i saying oh yeah uh we also think that The reason why we did not so called lose so much of weight is because we've been working out so we probably gained muscle mass. Yeah, you know with all the abs workout and stuff. Push ups and what is that up and down planks and no tricep toe touch. <laughs> yeah. Cock screw. Cock screw. What the cock hell is cock screw? <laughs> Hit that. Disgusting, but we. <laughs> okay, guys. So I guess that's it for the week two vlog of our thirty day keto challenge. Please do continue to support us because um, this journey is honestly pretty tough. So we appreciate all of the support we can get. Yeah. So I guess that's it for week two vlog, guys. So. Bye, Bye spicy, spicy samosas. samosas.